Hey there Virgo, welcome to your weekly tarot reading for May 8th to the 14th. Let's jump on in Virgo and see what is on the cards for you. So we, ooh, we've got the Ten of Cups, that is a beautiful energy. Now this for me is about blessed best life living, okay? That usually means having enough money, uh, spending it with people or fur babies that you want to be with and the location that you want, having a sense of community. Now, if you're feeling miles away from this now, this indicates that Virgo, you can you can make some moves towards it, okay? And that's probably what this reading is gonna be about. So well, let's keep going. Let's keep going. And next energy is the Six of Wands. Okay, so this is a victory energy and it usually talks about coming out of a challenging time, right? Now the Ten of Cups can be around family situations, home and family and children, extended family. This is a victory card. So maybe there's been a struggle either like creating that or within that and it feels like things are coming into balance the number six energy the number of the lovers where things come together in harmony all right and i've got the six of swords that's interesting at 10 and two number sixes okay so you're in transition or you will be in transition soon now uh, the thing about the six of swords is sometimes it's like we need to move away from a good thing to head to a better thing. And it could be, look, I'm really wanting that 10 of cups, right? I'm really wanting to get out there in the world and create that for myself. But maybe I need to kind of set sail from my own family, from my parents, or maybe from a place that you really like, but there's not the opportunity there, or it's harder to meet people. I don't know what it is for you, but it feels like with a heavy heart, you might need to, you know, make a sacrifice here to claim the victory of the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, it's about moving on, about moving forward to new territory. Okay, Virgo, well, let's get your nine card block out. If you'd like a personal reading or healing, first link down below will pop you over to my website to check those out. Grab my free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started interpreting the cards for yourself. And my paid offering is the initiation. Now that is a immersive, immersive online tarot course. And in that one, I teach a full foundation of tarot and my signature professional reading process. Uh, please do uh, follow along on Instagram for daily readings. And I do put the shout out for free little mini personal reading. Look at these cards. <laughs> personal readings from time to time. You'll need to be there and checking my story. Uh, shout out that I do have uh, the call out now. So, you know, you'll need to get over there and drop me a question in the little box there, depending on when you're watching this. Anyway, I am going to get these cards out. See you in just a moment. Okay, well, Virgo, these are your cards. Just gorgeous with the sun and the beautiful Ace of Pentacles at the end of the reading. Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, yeah, we have victory here, okay, but it feels like we've got a little bit of a journey here to get to it, but I love that coming into fruition. So I feel that, you know, you've been really, really wanting... Um, I'll say something, it's a general reading, like I've got the four of wands here and the ten of cups and it feels like it's, and the sun, for some of you it's conceiving a baby, for some of you it's buying a home that can be your base, for others of you it's finding a partner to, to marry or living closer to your family, there's a real like emotional sort of heart calling here of that belonging and creating that around the home front and where you fit in in life, okay. Now, um, the, the Four of Swords would indicate that maybe you have kind of waited and waited and waited, it's not happening, where's my opportunities, where's my person, and you've ended up here, the Nine of Swords, which is somebody who is you know, stressing about it, losing sleep, that my, I'm losing time here, I'm not in, getting any younger, or, you know, it's the mental overwhelm that has you project into the future and build scenarios and go, well, I'm just going to be alone and it's never going to happen and where's my happy ever after? So I feel that with that Nine of Swords energy. So, yeah, I just feel that that has led you here to this crossroads. 
And if you didn't know you were at a crossroads, this reading is telling you that you might be at a bit of a stalemate with where you are or how you're approaching this right now. And we need to shake up the energy. So the surefire way to, to create change in our lives and change the energy that comes our way is to shift our own energy first. Like that's actually the message of the magician, right? The alchemy. When we shift our own energy signature and we send that out into the world, we're putting out a different vibe. We're more magnetic. We're more attractive to opportunity. So I feel that it's time to do that work and to make some changes here. Because generally, if we don't shake something up, then we'll we'll continue to get more of what we have right now. I can see that you, you don't want any more waiting, any more Nine of Swords stressing, and you're really wanting that breakthrough, okay? That breakthrough of the Four of Swords. So the... The king, of, uh, the king of Swords has come to you and said, it's time to look at the big picture here. Yeah, we might need to take a Six of Swords transition, right? We might need to move away from how we were approaching this or from a place or from a strategy of trying to create whatever you're happy ever after is. But, you know, we might have to move away and do something differently. But the King of Swords says, I'll make sure you get there. I'll make sure you get there. Now, this is my hindsight is your foresight card. And we sort of spoke about that, Virgo, how if you keep doing the same thing, you'll likely get the same result. So the King of Swords knows that there needs to be decisions. There needs to be changes. There might need to be boundaries set. There might need to be cutting yourself free of certain people, certain energy, certain situations, right? Because I see a lot of uh, kind of a little bit of checking out at the moment four of cups you're losing sight of the dream look how this person here is focused on the three of cups and we have the three of cups in this reading it's like there are maybe some opportunities coming your way but they're not it and you know that right but you're you know it's still there but you're kind of going well I just sort of feel like it's not not happening there's boredom there's complacency and there's that feeling of it's not going to happen so we want to get out of this energy because if you carry that with you it is really a you know a big block to bringing it in you need to be in the energy of what you're trying to cre like create or attract so king of swords wants to transform your reality by doing things differently as aquarian energy and the aquarius energy can be it's, it's unique, it's different, it might be something that feels like a long shot, it might be the thing you didn't look at, it might be uh, something a little bit more eccentric or alternative, whether it's a place you're moving to, a different, you know, treatment that you're trying or just, you know, depending on your situation, obviously my language is different. So that's what the King of Swords wants to do, it wants you to look at, wants you to look at technology as well and take a bigger picture perspective on this than what you're taking. And you might need to sort of get out in the world in some way or look at global knowledge or, you know, information from that perspective. You're also being armed with a bunch of strength and courage for the journey because the Six of Swords may have you leave a job, leave a place, like take a leap of faith, something like that. And the, the inner demons are going to, to come up so quickly when the ego gets a, a bit of a hold of that. So the strength card is about soothing our own fears, our own anxieties or worries under control because your higher self has got you, right? Your guides are leading you. And they know that you have potential to achieve what you want to hear. So it's your job to soothe and coax those fears and worries under control. Leo energy, it's like fierce. Be in your fierce energy. So we have that. Now, the sun, the beautiful, beautiful sun energy says that there is a rebirth available to you. The brick wall that you are feeling right now, that block that you keep coming up against, maybe you get a certain, you know, like way into this or you get a little bit closer, but nothing ever really happens. See how this baby has burst through that brick wall? It says that you can overcome that struggle or challenge and the future is actually bright ahead. There is a rebirth and victory on offer here. Now, the sun stands for light, 
consciousness awareness so again it's really important for you to shine light on your dark corners here and your blocks and where you might be choosing to stay where you are or to keep doing the same thing over and over sometimes we can get a bit stubborn can't we you know it's about you need to open and, and be aware and think well if that's not working maybe it is time that I let that go maybe it is time that I change that that's what I see here so the Sun wants to heal that for you wants to wants to get things moving now I just see a bunch of amazingness coming in but I feel this is the result of you changing that energy something to celebrate here and the ace of pentacles is whatever it is that you're trying to create oh, you know pregnant conception I'm signing that contract for the employment job one that new client uh, I you know the bank signed off my loan my mortgage I can buy that house I found the perfect house to rent it, it just depends what it is for you but this is it becoming solid it's no longer a conversation it's no longer an idea it's no longer you know a conceptual dream but you've got something tangible on the table the very start of it that if you invest in can become your version or a milestone right the four of wands is a big milestone towards your happy ever after if you are seeing 11 11 your guides are really leading you right now and whatever that thing is that change or maybe you're starting to get in your mind maybe I need to do something differently what about this well then that is a yes it's a solid yes to that so there's a milestone towards that towards that happy outcome is what I'm really feeling here and there'll be something to celebrate like you'll celebrate the growth the three of cups is like finally I made it happen finally I've created it and finally you know I can see the growth and I can see where it's heading because the three of cups easily turns into the ten of cups it's like we just need the seed to plant we just need the first steps we just need to know it's in progress and you know that then you can nurture it you can water it and you can take it from there so I think that spirit's going to give you a bit of a helping hand with that Virgo all right let's go to Moonology to close this out for my Virgos Virgo Virgo Ha 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 I really, I mean, I, I'm not surprised because obviously I do this for a living and I know that the perfect cards come out, but this little bit of me that goes, wow, conclusions are within reach. It's the full moon eclipse energy. We're actually in eclipse season and the thing about eclipse energy is that it can be fast and life changing. You might just try one thing differently or have a conversation with someone differently and then all of a sudden it changes your whole reality and things that are happening so expect like life-changing shifts is what I'm trying to say here Virgo you're gonna to have to drop me a comment and let me know what you're working on and then come back and let me know when it all happens for you so I'm gonna leave it there and I hope that this gave you some clarity guidance insight maybe some confirmation I am cheering you on Virgo and wishing you so much love and magic do take very good care bye for now